Okay, so what I got here is Fido S4. I'm looking for Microsoft. I just click downloads, click here, and download OneDrive, and download. Alright. So I'm reading, uh, running FIDE, we recommend you use Etcher, burn it, uh, to burn the SD card at your tool software. So, download, Bolina Etcher. Seems pretty straightforward to do this Fide OS, put it on your Surface 7. Let's see how this works for us. And I guess I'm just going to pause the video and come back in about two hours. But to you, it's going to seem real quick. Okay, so I installed Bell Atcher. Now I'm going to click Flash File. Mm, find my file, uh, which is the file, which is that one, the file, the image. I'm doing it for the Surface Pro, so select the device, um, select target. Oh, I don't have a target in there, so I should probably get a USB drive. Okay, so I got my sand disk there. I'm gonna select that. It's real big. I don't have anything on it, so just making sure I don't have anything on it. Now it's starting to flash. I'm going to pause this for a bit. Okay, so we're at 76%. It's almost done now. I'll get back to you when it's 100%. And it should be good. Okay, so now it's almost done. It's validating. I'll keep it recording at this point so you guys can see what's going on. Thank you. 
and that is uh, flash complete successfully so now I'm gonna try that on my computer and we'll uh, get back with you see how that is should work good okay so what we got is the surface 7 so we're going to first what you want to do is boot it up into your BIOS which you press and hold your power button and your volume up button you'll get into your BIOS and then basically what you're gonna do is go to your security setting you're gonna go to change configuration you're gonna go none okay and then you're gonna go boot configuration and you're gonna take your USB storage and you want to drag it all the way up make that your first uh, make that your first one so you could just click on it drag it up and make sure your enable boot from USB devices is on okay and then what you're gonna do is you're going to take your installation media you're gonna put it in your USB port okay and then once that's done you can actually exit restart now and if everything worked good we should see it boot into uh, as Windows still should boot into Fido S I believe only one way to find out uh, oh it says booting into oh Fido S right there hmm so that's how you get Fido S working on your uh, your Surface 7 Pro. Now we're just going to select this. English Canada. Okay. Uh, get started. Uh, let's see. See if that's gonna connect. It says loading. Got a little internet guy down there. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, I think accept and continue. Accept and continue. Browse as guests. Use local account. Hmm. Shut down. I wonder if uh, this thing has its own uh, local account. Yeah, I wonder what kind of accounts I would use with this Fido S. This is a whole new. This is a whole new thing for me. So. Just bear with me, guys. We'll get this all figured out. It's a Linux-based operating system. It's uh, open source. Uh, it should be very similar to Android. Uh, create, sign in, or create a free account. Uh, region China. I'm in... Uh, I want my phone number. Let's see. I, I'm going to browse as guest first. And just see if that works. Okay. All right, all right, I'm here as guest. All right, all right. And that's how you get uh, Fido S on your, uh, on your Surface 7. Chromium. It's a Chromium-based uh, OS, so if you want to just look up, uh, whatever, let's just try a website. Let's just try YouTube. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to type YouTube. You could use all your web apps and stuff. It's uh, Chromium based. I don't know if EXE files install on it. I don't know why you would really want to install Fido S on a um, on a Surface Seven, but uh, that's a quick little tutorial. You can actually install it right on your hard drive. I'm not actually going to do that where you partition it. Um, I'm just going to do it like this because I got a couple of demos I got to do I'm just gonna install a hub and uh, do one more video with this and then I'm probably just gonna uninstall it all and uh, revert back to my surface settings 
All right. So please uh, comment if you have any questions and uh, let me know if uh, FIDOS would be something you'd be thinking of doing in the future for yourself.